Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at the latest daily snapshot of Sabion, their Mate edition. Now I have uh, played around quite a bit with Sabion on this channel. I've looked at Sabion's minimal flux box edition. I've also installed Sabion LXQT on this channel. Today I'm going to look at their Mate edition. So here in the boot menu. I'm going to choose Start Sebion Mate. This should load us directly into the live desktop environment. Wait for that to load. All right, and this is the live desktop environment. This is, of course, the Mate desktop. Uh, I'm really not going to play around in the live environment. I'm just going to go ahead and click Install here to launch the installer. All right, the installer asks us about language. It's already chosen English US, that's correct. I'm gonna click continue. All right, the next screen has localization keyboard. English US has already been selected, that's correct. Time and date, America, the Chicago time zone, that's correct. Uh, automatic or installation destination, automatic partitioning selected. Well, I didn't select that, but I don't mind letting it do automatic partitioning if that's what it wants to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let it do its thing. I'm going to click done here. Network and host name. There's a wired connection for this, so I don't need to do anything for that. Just going to click next. All right, we need to set a root password. So I'm going to choose a very hard to guess root password. I'm going to click done. We need to create our username. We need to create a very difficult password for this user. And I have to click done twice because I use such a weak password. It force, forces you to click done two times just to confirm that you want to use that very weak password. And the installer's running. This will probably take five to ten minutes. I'm going to pause the video. All right, and the install has completed. Uh, I need to click quit and reboot the machine. And that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, and I have rebooted my freshly installed Sebion this is their Mate edition. Again, this is the daily build. This is today's daily build. This is March 1st, 2018. We'll see how fast boot up time takes. Usually it's very fast on Sebion, yeah. We get to a login manager very fast. The init system for Sebion is uh, system D. All right, and this is our Mate desktop environment. We have our little greeter screen here. We have links to our community repos, package list. We have a link to the wiki. Support. We have another link to the uh, Sebion wiki. We have the Sebion forums and we have a link to the IRC chat channel for Sebion. And then under project we have their GitHub page. We have bug reporting and we have the donate link here. And then we also have some social media buttons, Google Plus, Twitter and Facebook. And show this dialog at startup is, is ticked on by default. I'm going to go ahead and tick that off. I don't need to see this uh, greeter again. So this is, uh, of course, the Mate desktop environment. Mate it basically mimics the old GNOME 2 desktop environment. You have very GNOME 2-like menu system at the top with applications, places, and system. You have a panel at the top and a panel at the bottom. The panel at the bottom is your taskbar when you have a window open. Let me open a window here. Of course, this is the file manager. You see we have our taskbar at the bottom where we can minimize and unminimize windows. And then, of course, we have our workspaces here, our virtual desktops. We have four of them. Desktop 2, Desktop 3, Desktop 4, back to Desktop 1. Let's see what programs are installed by default on Sebion's Mate edition. So I'm going to go to Applications. Under Accessories, we have Atom. Atom is a hackable text editor for the 21st century. I'm actually not that familiar with this particular program, Atom. I've seen it around, but I've, I've never actually used it myself. Also under Accessories, we have our Character Map. We have our Disk Utility. We have NGrampa, which is the Archive Manager here in the Mate desktop environment. We have our Mate calculator. We have Mate's font viewer, Mate's search tool. We have the Pluma text editor, which is the default text editor in Mate. This is Pluma 1.18.2. 
And also in, under Accessories, we have our Screenshot Utility. Under Education, we have LibreOffice Math. Under Games, we have Mind Test. Graphics, we have Eye of Mate, which is our Image Viewer. We have LibreOffice Draw. We have Mate Color Selection. And we have Mu PDF, which is, of course, a PDF Viewer. Under Internet, we have Avahi. We have Google Chrome as our browser. Of course, when you launch Google Chrome, it asks, do you want to make Google Chrome your default browser? I'm okay with that for this video. Do I automatically, do I want to automatically send usage stats and crash reports to Google? I don't want to send anything to Google, but I'm going to click OK on it for this video. I personally do not use the Chrome browser. I mean, it is not free and open source software. It's proprietary. Uh, but one thing about Sabion is they're not afraid to uh, ship non-free software. So you will see, see things like Google Chrome and uh, VLC and, and you know things like that shipped by default on their ISOs. Google Chrome 64.0 is the version number. Right, also under Internet we have HexChat, which is our IRC chat client. And it probably will automatically connect to the Sabion support channel on the Freenode network. Yeah, it looks like it's automatically connecting to Freenode. Alright, let's go ahead and quit that. I don't have a support question to ask on the channel, so... We have our transmission BitTorrent client. This is the standard BitTorrent client in the GNOME desktop environment. Let me quit that. All right. Under Office, we have Actual Document Viewer. And then we have the entire LibreOffice suite. Base, Calc, Draw, Impress, Math, and Writer. We also have the Mate Dictionary. Under Programming, we have Adam again for our text editor. I'm assuming it's also an IDE, uh, you know, for people that do programming. Sound and video, we have Audacious. Audacious is a lightweight, minimal audio player. Uh, kind of resembles the old Winamp program in Windows. We have MPV for our uh, video player. And then we have sound. I'm assuming this is just our sound preferences. Yes, it is. All right. Under System Tools, we have Kaja. Kaja is the file manager in the Mate desktop environment. We have Gparted, which is our, our partition editor. We don't need to play around in that. We have the Quake Terminal. The Quake Terminal. If I press F12, now that I've launched it, we should get a drop-down terminal. Yep. And F12... Uh, removes it from the screen of 12 again we just keep getting this drop down terminal anytime I want to pull up a terminal now that I have that running I just hit F12 I get that drop down terminal really neat program we have our log file viewer uh, magneto updates notifier I'm not sure what that is let's check it out alright I pulled up a wiki page from Savion magneto is the tool which informs us when updates are available uh, okay so this tool right here I'm assuming this icon, that's the Quake icon, this one right here with the checkbox, basically telling me my system is up to date. That is the Magneto update notifier. All right, also under system we have manage printing, we have the Mate disk usage analyzer, we have the Mate system monitor. Let's check out the system monitor, see what kind of system resources we're using. Now I've got some stuff opened up, and you know, I've got the notifier, got a network uh, applet here running, I've also got the Quake terminal running. But CPU usage is only around 3 or 4 uh, percent. Memory usage, 755 megs. Um, that's a little higher than I would expect for the Mate desktop, but that's not too high. 755 megs is still pretty light. Also under system tools, we have the Mate terminal. While I have the terminal open, let's go ahead and run uname space dash r. The kernel for this particular release of Sebion is 4.14. Also under System Tools, we have our Power Stats. We have the Sebion Greeter, which is the greeter when we first logged in to Sebion. We have uh, Xterm, of course, as a standard terminal emulator in Linux. Let me go ahead and right-click on the desktop. I'm going to change desktop backgrounds. You guys know I love to play around with the wallpapers. 
And yeah, I've seen all of these wallpapers before. It's the standard uh, Mate wallpaper pack that I've seen in a lot of distros. But I will play around with a, a few of these, just changing some of the wallpapers. Since uh, the theme here is this silver panel with the silver windows, you know, kind of a light theme. I probably need a dark wallpaper to contrast it. Maybe this dark blue theme with the Mate logo. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. We've got anything a little darker. Of course, we've got this here, which is like a night sky. That looks pretty cool. What about this, uh, this looks like a, an Aurora. Yeah, I like that too. It's not bad. And we got some nature stuff. We got some flowers. Some more uh, Aurora stuff here. Different color variations. You know what? I'm just going to go with that. All right. Uh, back to the menu. Uh, we've already went through all the applications. Places, of course, is our, basically our directory, our directory structure. Various places within our direct, directory structure. So if I go to, say, desktop, it just opens the Kaja file manager in my desktop directory. Then we have our system menu here. And this is where we would find things like look and feel, appearance. So let me go ahead and see what kind of themes are installed by default. The first one, custom, is the default theme. But we also have black mate, which is a very nice black theme. We have blue menta, which is another nice silvery grayish theme. Blue submarine. Looks pretty cool, actually. I don't mind that one. We have the equinox theme. We have green laguna. It's kind of a slight greenish hint to the gray and silver theme. And then we have uh, Minta. I've used Minta before. It's a very nice theme, too. You know what? I may just leave Minta on. It kind of works with the uh, darker wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and launch the control center here. This is the Mate control center. Uh, we have look and feel, appearance, uh, personal settings, you know, your standard system preferences. And of course, Mate has different uh, little applets and widgets you can add to the panel. For example, this old style GNOME 2 menu system that they're using here. I can right click on the panel and choose add to panel and choose main menu. This is the main Mate menu. I click add and it will add you know, a standard kind of start menu rather than this applications places system menu. And let's see, can I move this? Move. Move this over here. They delete this one, remove from panel, and move. Uh oh, I don't want to do that. And now we have that panel and that's probably the one I would go with personally but you guys that want to stick with the one out of the box the default one it's perfectly okay we also you know have a like a CPU frequency scaling monitor we have disk mounter applets we have fish we have a set of eyeballs for your panel let's add that uh, is it gonna follow my cursor yes it does will it follow the window as I drag the cursor around yeah that's pretty cool let's get rid of the eyes though that's a little tacky. Let's briefly discuss package management in Sebion. Sebion has their own package manager that they call Entropy. Now Entropy has two different front ends to it. They have a graphical front end to Entropy that they call Rigo, R-I-G-O. They also have the command line front end to Entropy that they call Equo, E-Q-U-O. Let me briefly discuss Equo because that's usually the one I use. I uh, almost never use GUI package managers, but uh, a common command to use Equo in the terminal would be sudo Equo update and and sudo Equo upgrade. Very similar to sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. Of course, you have to enter your root password anytime you're updating and installing or removing software. All right, we're waiting. Please update your repositories, yada, yada, yada. 
I already know that there's probably going to be no packages that are going to be updated by this because, again, this snapshot was from today. So, shouldn't be anything really to update. Maybe a couple of packages. It's calculating our system updates and nothing to update, nothing to remove. Yep. So, but anyway, that is Equo. That is the command line interface to the Entropy Package Manager. Let's check out the GUI package manager, Rigo. This is the Rigo application manager. Your standard GUI package manager that lets you search for software. Uh, there are two notices from the repositories. It is extremely important to always read them. Of course, you always get these notices in the terminal, but that's interesting that they put this in the GUI package manager too. So I'm going to click let me see, and basically it's uh, information how to donate to Sebion and then uh, some information about the Sebion community repos. Back to the Rigo package manager. Uh, you can search, you can go to application groups, uh, show application groups, run. Uh, we can choose a category here. Let's choose games. View. And this shows all the games that are available in the Sebion repos. Actually, quite a large list of games available in the repos including the first one in the list, Zero AD. A very fun game if you guys have never played Zero AD. Check that one out. The Rigo Application Manager also lets you update repositories and update your system, clean your system. So that is the GUI Package Manager, Rigo. Again, in the terminal you would use Equo. And that is pretty much Sebion Mate in a nutshell there. Uh, again, this is not really an official release of Sebion's Mate Edition. This is just a daily build. I was just, you know, thinking, you know, it's been a while since I've checked on Sebion. I really like Sebion. Sebion is a Gen 2 based Linux distribution, so rolling release. Uh, and it's 100% compatible with Gen 2. You can actually use Emerge for your package management if you don't want to do Equo and Rigo. So, uh, I actually really love their version of Mate too. Very nice looking, very snappy, very fast. Uh, might be something you guys want to check out if you love the Mate desktop environment and you don't mind living in a Gen 2 based distro or you actually prefer to live in a Gen 2 based distro. Check out Sebion Mate. Peace guys.